Dubai and the United Emirates are suffering from the worst storms and floods since the beginning of the year as record rainfall pummeled the city, causing panic among residents. Heavy rain caused flooding and inundated roads in several areas of Dubai, United Arab Emirates on Tuesday, with vehicles stuck in standing water as the drainage system could not cope with the storm heavy rain. The Emirates National Center for Meteorology has issued weather warnings for many cities in the UAE. The rain began at night, leaving heavy sleet on the roads as strong winds disrupted flights at Dubai International Airport. The world's busiest for international traffic and home to the airline. Emirates Airline Long Class. The country's schools were largely closed ahead of the storm and government employees were working remotely, allowing many employees to stay at home, but some ventured out but unfortunately got stuck in their cars. Water is deeper than expected on some roads. submerged if you can see uh, uh, the people were pulled out from the sunroof they have tied it with a rope now <coughs> Emergency workers drove slowly through flooded streets, emergency warning lights flashing through the darkness and lightning flashing together in the sky, at times touching the top of the Burj Khalifa, the building the world's highest. By the evening more than 120 millimeters or 4. Seventy-five inches of rain had reached the city, an average annual rainfall for the desert country with more expected in the coming hours. Power cuts were also reported in some areas, with many roads closed across the country as the emergency services responded to adverse weather conditions. that is above us and uh, that's where the storm is coming from it's a big storm heading uh, to dubai right now <laughs> Adverse weather conditions are expected to continue on Wednesday morning with tropical clouds bringing rain and lightning occurring over coastal areas especially in the north and east of the country. Meanwhile, the Asian Football Confederation semi-final first leg match between Al of the United Arab Emirates and Al Hilal of Saudi Arabia was also postponed from Tuesday to Wednesday after heavy rain caused flooding. يا جماعة ترى الوضع ما يطمن والله العظيم ها 
شوف الدنيا شوف هنا العقر الغرب In the hosting country, the Asian Football Confederation made the decision after thunderstorms inundated the UAE, inundating parts of major highways and closing roads and bridges. Football Federation had earlier cancelled local football activities at Dubai International Airport, where some flights were temporarily suspended for 25 minutes on Tuesday because of strong storms in the Emirates. A statement posted on social media added that there was severe flooding on roads leading to the airport and the forecast showed the unsettled weather would continue until Wednesday morning. Hello, boss. Salam alaikum. Me today no come job. Job no coming today. Me water too much road road water too much Passengers are encouraged to check their flight status, allow significant extra travel time and use the Dubai Metro for easier travel. Services on the Dubai Metro's red line are disrupted between UAE Exchange Station and Dubai Internet City Station. <laughs> which the Roads and Transport Authority said was a result of delays and cancellations of public bus services, plus in the Emirates. Also on the Dubai Metro's red line, services were disrupted at on Passover Station with replacement bus services provided between affected stations. An orange weather warning is in place for Dubai and Ras Al Qa until 6 p.m. The National Center for Meteorology has said this means hazardous weather events are expected and people are urged to follow official advice. A yellow alert is also in place for the rest of the country including Abu Dhabi meaning people are urged to keep an eye out. This is not just an ordinary weather event. This is a crisis of epic proportions, one that is testing the patience of the UAE people and the strength of their beloved city. Join me as we dig into the heart of this disaster and explore the tragedy unfolding in Dubai and the United <laughs> Arab Emirates. Rain, thunder and hail are expected to continue throughout the morning and evening. <laughs> وادي شوكة في المنطقة الشرقية جارف جارف بشكل قوي ما شاء الله قلعها الرب حافظ عليش الرب حافظ عليش قلعها السمرة قلعها and wind speeds could reach 100 km per hour, NCM reported. The storms are expected to peak on Tuesday, with conditions gradually improving. But the damage has been done. Video shared by popular weather monitoring account, Flood and Storm Center, paints a grim picture of devastation. Dense clouds blanketed the sky over Abu Dhabi, while flooded valleys in Dubai showed the scale of the flooding. Widespread flooding was reported on roads as rain continued to fall, while flights into and out of Dubai International Airport were hindered.
Traffic on the UAE's main highway was also disrupted, paralyzed when rainwater flooded part of the road. UAE authorities worked overnight Ma to respond Allah. to the crisis. Ma the Allah. National Emergency Management and Crisis Response Allah. Agency urged the public Jami. to stay indoors and only leave their homes when absolutely necessary, warning of dangers from the powerful storm. Please join us every day to stay updated with weather information. Don't miss out, click the register button to support us.